What's going on guys? Geosnowrite here. So in today's video I have a warning for you and this is a very important message that you should probably uh, watch till the end. It involves your own security and your own device. If you're a jailbroken device, if you have a jailbroken device running on it, then you're probably at risk at this point. There is a malware for iOS jailbroken devices in the wild and this malware was found uh, 20 hour uh, 20 hours ago and is apparently creating bootnet um, systems or boot networks which is uh, in a nutshell let me try to explain what it is for example you you have your device your classmate have another device and your friends your com common friends have their own devices together you have a bunch of devices that you can use if you're getting together now an attacker can infect a lot of devices, in this case, for example, your device, your friend's device, your classmate device, and so on, and use all these devices to attack a specific target in order to have much more power. Imagine this uh, this way, you want to attack a guy who of course talked shit about you, and uh, you can either attack him yourself, and it's going to be one-to-one, -one, or you can bring your friends to the situation and uh, attack all of you one single person that is not going to be fair but that's going to be much more horsepower in there so this is exactly what a bot network or a bot net creates and this is definitely what happened last night with a guy let me show you exactly what i'm talking about this guy in here j2k3k is uh, has reported 21 hours ago the fact that his device his jailbroken iphone was a uh, part of a botnet, which is actually, as I say, the result of a malware, in, in uh, which case it means that his device was controlled or is controlled currently by an attacker, by a hacker, in order to attack another point. And in this case, he is attacking Sony Network. Now, you probably all know Sony PlayStation uh, Network. And um, they have, of course, websites. And according to this email he received from his internet co uh, connection company, in, in which case it's Cox Connections, uh, an American, I think, network. Then uh, he received this email in which they, of course, show the um, everything that happened on his account. And uh, apparently his uh, device was involved into trying to, you know, steal passwords or steal um, cryptographic data from the PlayStation network. And he was attacking this uh, endpoint in here. Now, if you're receiving such email from your uh, internet connection provider, then you should probably uh, contact them very, very fast because it's very important. It means that your device is controlled and your device got part as, um, of a botnet and it means your device is currently at that point um, infected and being used by an attacker, which means they can actually get data from your device and um, so on. Now, why this happens? This can happen from two different reasons. You, um, uh, in fact, there are three of them. The first one, you accessed a, a website containing a malware, and because you're jailbroken, the malware downloaded itself, and uh, of course, it did its thing. But it's hardly uh, believable that this thing happened. Then the second thing, a tweak or a repo. Now, there, are, there were a couple of threats of malware in the community a couple of days ago from a developer, I can't remember, Dylan, whatever, who said he's going to, you know, uh, insert malware in his um, repo or stuff like that. And um, there are a lot of speculations right now, but I'm not going to get into that. The, the, uh, but the major effect in here is that if you are running a tweak that was infected, or if you downloaded a tweak from a repo that contained malware, then your device can easily be infected because when you're jailbroken your device, you're completely removing any sort of protection that can run on that device. Anything that protects your device from that thing to happen is actually disabled because of course this is how jailbreak works. And that's not a bad thing until you get attacked and until your device is infected. At that point, it's going to be bad. So the third thing that can happen is uh, definitely using uh, an IPA. If you've, if you've installed an IPA from unknown sources or from, you know, a, a Yalu distribution that isn't open source from shady sources, it's again going to be a problem because, because it is very easy to actually um, insert malware into Yalu um, jailbreak IPAs. So make sure you only download Yalu jailbreak from sources that are trustworthy. Uh, if, you're, if you're actually interested in the uh, Yalu Dark to know if it's safe or not, because I know some of you are going to ask this question, Yalu Dark, the uh, fork that I created of Yalu, 
is actually open source. You can find the source on my GitHub, the link is in the description. You can open the folder in here and uh, you can watch over the entire code. If you do not believe that the code is actually reflected in the IPA itself, you can compile the code yourself and use it from your compilation. So yes, Yellow Dark is definitely okay. It's not containing any malware, but there are other um, Yalu versions available that can contain malware. And usually those that are not open source are at risk. If you're, if you of course installed uh, any Yalu from, you know, one year certificate things, uh, Chinese websites that self sign your IPA and stuff like that, you again are at risk. So make sure you remove anything that you installed at that point. But if you receive any uh, message from your internet company telling that your device, your iPhone or your computer or something like that is infected, you should definitely contact them and try to um, try to get help and uh, you should definitely verify your computer. Now the guy who actually got his problem in here on uh, on Reddit say that he did check his computer using various malware um, checking and antivirus uh, tools and he detected nothing on the computer. That's why he found out the uh, culprit to be the device itself, the iPhone itself. In this case, what you can actually do is to try to analyze the, the device. If you know how to do a sniffing of the network connections, do that using Wireshark or using anything else. Try to see what are the out connections and in connections, you know, from your device to see if anything suspicious is happening. For example, if your device is um, trying to access websites that it shouldn't do. For example, in this case, we have uh, what this guy has attacked. Let me try to show you sonyentertainmentnetwork.com or any other uh, subnetworks of this thing. But it can be anything else because, you know, the attacker can try to attack anything in your name just to stay protected or just to have much more power over the uh, the thing. It's very important because you're jailbroken, you're actually um, at risk at this point. And if this becomes a widespread malware, then anybody can be infected just by using a tweak or just by using an IPA or just by using, I don't know, just by browsing a uh, website. So up until we figure out what happened and how the hell did the malware got into, into that dude's device and there was another one who, had the same problem, you should probably make sure you're installing only the tweaks that you're trusting. You should make sure that you do not have any outcoming connections or incoming connections that are suspicious if you know how to check that. Uh, and also you should uh, pay attention in files out to any file modifications that appear on your device. If you see anything suspicious, drop us a line, tell me in the comment section down below. I'm actually a malware researcher as a job. So this is, this is what I actually do for a living. I'm a um, I'm actually uh, checking malware, so I can help you with that if you find find out any malware, but please pay attention, botnets are actually dangerous because your device is controlled by somebody else. I would recommend you to log out of any account if you see any suspicious activity on your phone, log out of any account, um, remove any application that requires login, and then go ahead on a computer that it's safe and it's not actually bootnetted, and uh, try to change your password for your own protection because as the, uh, the attacker can control your device, they might easily sniff data from it, for example, passwords, emails, bank accounts, and so on. So if you see any suspicious activity, tell us down below and I'm going to try to reach you and help you. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow, stay safe and peace out.